All right, everybody out there in Facebook world. <laughs> we got Pantry over there, and we got Cowboy up. What's up? Yep. Cowboy up. We all shared and shacked up in the room over here. Got a couple big double beds, and uh, we all got together and did our laundry yesterday. We're at Fontana Village, and today is Tuesday, March 12th. So... That's where we ended up yesterday. Cal or, uh, Pantry caught Cowboy up and I down at the uh, post office, and that's how we kind of all ended up back together up here, which worked out because we were able to split the expenses and uh, got our laundry done while we went down to the gas station to get something to eat. We're going to hit a big breakfast up here this morning and then back to the trail and end of the Smokies today. Yeehaw. Yeehaw is right. Weather looked good for the next two days, and then we got rain coming in Thursday and Friday. But it looks like Thursday afternoon. I don't know if you were out here when that came up. All right, we'll catch you up at breakfast, maybe. You mind being on there? What's that? A video. What's your trail name? Uh, well, I started with a question mark, and it's kind of gotten short to Q. How'd you end up with that? Oh, you know how it, when, I'm sure it was for you, too. You're like, I think I might do this. So you're like, okay, northbound, southbound. Tent, hammock, stove, no stove, gas, out, you know, like all these questions. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Right. All right. Well, good for you. Yep. All right. That's what we're waiting on the shuttle. You waiting on the 830 shuttle? Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Went down. Did you guys some... pull up at the marina? Yeah. So we got that. We got that mile, yeah. 1.4 miles. <laughs> yeah, we, we were going to, like, slack pack that yesterday, but... It said it was three bucks each way. I was like, that's not yeah. a six dollar walk. No. <laughs> well, he told me that he'll take you anywhere that's got the name Fontana in it. So he'll take you all the way to Dam. He'd be. Oh, okay. But I want to get that 1.4 miles in, so it all counts. Right. Yeah. And I did it last year. So. Okay. Well, I did. Well, what did you say last? Did you do this? I one? did 600 miles last year. Holy cow! That's so, just I'm, I'm redoing a lot of what I did last year already. <laughs> But it's good and it's bad because I know what's coming, and in a lot of areas I forget. But then I get there, and deja vu sets in, and I go, oh, "Shit, this is going to be a bad section." Yeah. <laughs> well, today's a good climb, right? Yeah, today's not bad, but obviously it's everything's climb. When anytime you're in town, it's climb. Right. So, but you get you get some good views with it. Is it worse than coming out of the knock? Uh. No, it's it's not worse. The, the 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 knock wasn't bad until you got up towards the top. Yeah. And then the top never happened. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you, you just go and go and go. Last year they had fireplace going too. This is a beautiful place. Yeah. It's a nice spot. Alright, we're waiting on the eight thirty shuttle. Pantry and uh, myself and a couple other guys. Couple guys waiting on the shuttle. Yes, sir. All right. We got all the other hikers up there, and we're over here at the uh, Fontana Dam by the marina. And uh, <laughs> the guy had to, uh, his transport van had a flat. <laughs> he had to load us all in the back of his pickup truck. And I fortunately got to sit in the front. I didn't have to get in the back. But he brought about. Ten of us down here in this pickup truck. Uh, fortunately, had a back seat too. So, anyways, we got 1.4 miles to the uh, shelter here by the dam, and then probably another mile across the dam uh, to get to the Smokies and uh, start our entry into the Smokies. So we'll keep you posted throughout the day, Tuesday, March 12th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did the 1.4 oh, from the marina through the woods there. And this is the Hotel Hilton of Shelters at Fontana Dam. It's a, it's a nice one. Yeah, they got charger area here for your phone. Water. Anybody need water? Good, Trash cans. We'll get down here and get some pictures and video. A 
nice fire pit. We still got a mile walk across the bridge. Damn, that fog lifted for a minute when we were down there in the woods. It kind of filled back in. It might lift again. Yeah, it probably will time we get in the middle of the bridge. At least it lifted some. No. Yeah. All right, we'll get some more out on the bridge. Uh huh. We got pantry back here, and we got cowboy up. What's this, Doctor? What's his name, Doctor? What? Doctor Cayenne. Doctor Cayenne. That's right. Yeah, they want to know your trail name, Doctor Cayenne. Yeah, I just down to. There's the mountains, now. and there's Fontana Dam. We're getting ready to go in them Smokies and climb up that hill. You see where we see that tower up there? See that fire tower? That's where we're headed up there. Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, we came from there yesterday. My mom turned around. They all seem like we came from there yesterday. <laughs> it's funny when you get on top of the mountains, you look out and you go, well, I'll be over there tomorrow. <laughs> where do you turn your permit in at? Up here at the front gate. Yep, there's the sign, Great Smoky National Park. All right, we are here. We just dropped our uh, permits in. We got uh, Doc Kai in. He's leaving tomorrow, but he walked up here to get this part out of the way. And uh, pantry and cowboy up. And uh, three of us are getting ready to go into Smokies. And right up here is the permit box. So our permits are in there, and we now have 10 days to get through the Smokies, which is not going to be a problem. I got through them last year, I think, in five. And uh, I don't know, it's probably going to be five days. If it's six, if so be it uh, Friday. We're supposed to get some rain Thursday and Friday. So, depending on the rain, if, uh, if it's going to be a lot of rain, I might just hole up in the shelter and let it pass for a day and get out the next day because it takes a day to get all your clothes dry if you get out there and get soaked, anyways. So, all right, we're going to head up that way. All right. There's a view of Fontana Dam from the Smokies. So, anyways, of course, like always, when you come out of town, we had a big climb up. And it's still not done, but I hit a little spot here where I can do a little recording and talk. Uh, so anyways, when you come down yesterday, as you know, uh, we came down and you hit the bathrooms right there at the parking lot by the marina, and there's a phone there in a box, you just dial zero, and they'll send a shuttle from Fontana Village. Three dollars for the shuttle each way. So anyways, we got down to the village, and uh, Cowboy Up and I had to uh, go to the post office, and we are in there, and lo and behold, here comes Pantry running into us at the post office. He's seen us go by in the van, and he got in an hour before us because he was hiking fast. And uh, anyways, so we decided, you know, to just go ahead and just split a room with Fontana rather than go to the shelter because we didn't know if the shelter was going to be full or what, even though it's a big shelter. And uh, we wanted to go ahead and do laundry and all that, which worked out good because you go to Fontana, it's like $80 for room, tax tag and delivery probably 92 but it doesn't matter how many people you got in there. So if you got two of you, you can split it. You got three of you, you can split it. You got four of you, you can split it because there's two queen size beds in there. So you, you could do four people comfortably in a room. And then uh, we went down to the laundromat, which is down the hill, and we put all of our clothes in one load, in uh, three of us, and did all of our laundry. It's $2.50 for the washer, and uh, $2.50 for the dryer. And uh, it didn't take any more than that. It, it uh, actually dried everything. So $5, you can do all your laundry. And the, uh, the little general store next door is not open probably till about May 1st. So, but the gas station right down from the laundromat and also the uh, post office is right next to the laundromat. All three of them are right there together. Uh, the gas station's got all kinds of resupply. Uh, you can get lunch down there. They got pizza, they got hot dog sausages, um, they do chili dogs, uh, a couple different pizzas. I don't, I don't, not much else than that. 
they might have a couple things there. They don't have burgers or anything like that. But they also got draft beer and bottle beer. So if they got a little counter and tables you can sit at, do your resupply, sit and have some pizza or hot dogs and beer. And we put our clothes in the wash, went down there and ate some chili dogs and had a beer with them. And then uh, went back and all we had to do is wait for our clothes to dry then. And got back to our room and looked at the weather for the next five days. And we got rain coming in Thursday afternoon and Friday. But today and tomorrow are supposed to be nice just like this. So that's perfect. All right, we'll catch you later up the trail. Just kind of wanted to fill you in on the cost of things. Anybody coming behind me could use that information. All right. So yesterday, as we were saying, we stayed at uh, Fontana Resort down there. But uh, we still got 12.2 miles in from, uh, I think, Brown Fort Shelter, Gap, Sh Brown Fort Gap Shelter, I think. 12.2 miles to the parking lot when we got picked up. So that was a nice Nero. Uh, still had, we got there at 1.30 and uh, still had plenty of time to get to the end, get a room, do our laundry, grab something to eat and uh, go back, throw stuff in the dryer, and go back up to the room and watch the news. I mean, we had plenty of time. Uh, we could have even went down and ate dinner if we wanted. At the restaurant in the end. We did have breakfast there this morning. Uh, kind of limited breakfast, but uh, we had enough to choose from, half a dozen things. Also, uh, there's a little fridge in your room if you wanted to get beer at the gas station or uh, sodas or anything like that to keep in the fridge you do have that option and uh, we're hitting a little flat spot here but it's been a steady climb all morning and I guess I'm headed that way for that peak over there so that pretty I got like eight miles to go to the shelter we're gonna hit the at least I'm gonna hit the first shelter today and uh, not try to go to the next one. We'll see. I don't. I don't foresee it happening. It's got to be noonish now. Another eight miles. Uh, it'd be probably four o'clock. And uh, I'll be ready to kick back a little bit and uh, get something to eat. All right, we're gonna take a little break. Got another uphill coming. All right, we got our first real good view of some more mountains up here in the Smokies. So, get a quick shot of it. I don't know how well you can see it through them trees. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what, it was a good uphill to get here. But, uh, once you get up here, you know, then it's kind of just roller coaster up down hills type stuff. One minute you're going down a little ways, the next minute you're going up 100 feet. But uh, first couple hours, it's pretty much <laughs> climb up, up, up. If I remember right from last year, <clears throat> there's some good pictures, some good views around this corner up here. So once we get around there, we'll check them out. Uh, I guess we're working our way up towards the fire tower up there. And then, uh, then it's just kind of roller coaster ridge, which is kind of fun. I, I, I enjoy hiking the top of these mountains. Uh, I enjoy that roller coaster effect. Uh, you get a lot of different good views. We've got some out there now. All right, let's see what we've got around the corner. Oh, yeah, I remembered right. Check it out. I did remember. I ain't getting too old yet, see? Man, look at all that. Nothing but wilderness. You know what? That over there is Fontana Lodge and everything. I'm sure you can't see it because it blends in. 
but uh, I'm getting my picture with my camera out here too. So, anyways, we're headed that way, and uh, but we got a view, we got a really good one, fantastic. All right, so midday here. Not the exact sure what time it is. Might be about one-ish. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> cowboy up in. Uh, he had about five beers left. <clears throat> he, I think about a 12 pack yesterday when we got in town or whatever. Put it in the fridge at the hotel. You know, he had had one or two at lunch and he had one with, you know, doing laundry and stuff. You know, for, throughout the whole day. Anyways, he had five beers left in the fridge this morning. <laughs> so, he and Pantry, crazy son of bitches, they packed them up here in their backpack. Uh, when we, we got up in the Smokies, uh, you got you got a big uphill climb for a couple of miles until you get up to uh, the fire tower, and then it's just kind of you know roller coaster across the ridges up and down. But we got up to the fire tower. They got up there ahead of me, obviously. They were waiting for me up there with these beers and uh, celebrate getting up there to the high point for the day. Each of us had a beer, and uh, four people came up behind us, hikers, two gals and two guys, and uh, they gave each one of them a beer to, not each one of them, but boyfriend, girlfriend split a beer, boyfriend, girlfriend split a beer. So we're all up there by the fire tower, uh, doing a cheers and, you know, in the Smokies, and uh, we made it up here to the fire tower. So now it's about an hour, hour and a half later, and just doing, uh, Doing the hiking thing, I think. Uh, oh, I'm this damn tree. If I can get back up. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my hiking pole. Uh, uh, damn. Oh, made it. Damn. Trying to come up from Neil with that damn backpack on. It's no fun chore. <laughs> yeah, it's rubbing a tree back here trying to come under that. Uh, now I got one I gotta climb over. Uh, so anyways, that was kind of cool that they uh, took the initiative to carry that extra weight up there. All damn chores are out of the way. Damn. I just washed these damn pants yesterday. Already dirty. Alright, we'll catch you down the trail a little ways. Uh, I'm gonna probably hit the first shelter tonight. We didn't get started in the Smokies at 10 o'clock. So, uh, shuttle driver had a flat tire, like I said, he had to take the truck. So, kind of a late start for us. Damn, we got another obstacle. All right, I gotta put this camera away. I gotta start using both my hands and feet and everywhere I turn or something in the way. All right, we'll see you down the trail. All right, up here in the Smokies. Day, it's Tuesday, I think day 19. Uh, anyways, we got a crazy tree over there. <laughs> kind of like a teepee, crazy looking tree. Kind of looks like a banyan tree on the bottom. I lived in Florida, we had banyan trees. But uh, just the way it's all hollowed out and everything. Kind of crazy looking. That, uh, I wonder, kind of curious how old the tree is or what kind of tree that is. It's not really an oak. Real scraggly looking. So, not sure what it is. If anybody knows, let me know. Other than that, it's just been a beautiful day for hiking. Uh, weather's been fantastic. So I think we're going to, uh, I think I've decided to push towards the second shelter. It's, uh, I'm only, I think two miles from the first shelter and it's only three o'clock. Might not even be three yet. So, I mean, it don't get dark now. The time changed till quarter after seven. 
and uh, I think it's only another four miles to the next shelter. So that'll be a real good run for today, getting us started at 10 o'clock into the Smokies. I mean, uh, we had a two mile hike just from the uh, parking lot to Marina to get to the Smokies. So had a mile 1.4 to uh, the uh, shelter there at the dam and then uh, another mile so yeah almost almost two and a half miles probably so we'll add it up when we get done tonight we'll see where we're at but when you got a day like this and you're feeling good you might as well get the miles in that uh, haven't really stopped to eat much i had a little snack along the way that uh, peanut butter crackers and snickers bar <laughs> You can call that lunch. But uh, I'll make up for it dinner time. Get some calories in. Alright, signing off. Alright, it is 5.40. And uh, we're getting ready to walk up to Russell Fields Shelter. Because uh, around mile 14 into the Smokies. But... Uh, with the uh, hike through from the parking lot over the Fontana Hilton and then across the dam to the Smokies. Today was a 16.5 mile day. So, got some miles in today. 16.5. Pretty good. And uh, 12.2 yesterday. So, yeah. Starting to get some mileage added up. And yesterday was a Nero with 12.2, so we did pretty good. Alright, should be right around this corner up here. Let me turn this around. Should be coming right up. There's supposed to be a creek of water, too. I think I see something up this way. Yeah, I see a little fenced-in area or something. There it is. <laughs> well, I'll be God dang. There he is! Look at what I found. There he is. So. What are you guys doing? Messing with some moonshine or something? <laughs> I know how hiker trash like you, how you guys are. Why are you walking like you just started? Jesus Christ, like crawled here. 16.5 miles today, gentlemen. Damn, way to go, Rick, man. All of us. We about. all started the same place. That was awesome. 14 from, uh, 14 from uh, the start of the Smokies. And we had two and a half in from where he dropped us off over by the bathrooms. Huh? You're like marching. I can't, I literally can't even walk right now. Oh, trust me, my feet hurt. <laughs> I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad you made it. Well, me too. All right. That last one was I knew I'd find them. They couldn't get away from me. <laughs> we tried. They're just heading north for moonshine. That's what they were doing.